Mission Better Tomorrow. Extraordinary situations demand extraordinary solutions. For the last 15 years, Mission Better Tomorrow or MBT has been doing it. Constantly and continuously engaging with society and coming up with out of the box solutions to pressing social problems. MBT is a collective of committed professionals united by the passion to create a better tomorrow by consciously investing in today. Together, they have been developing an army of capable, caring, and responsible young change leaders working towards the creation of peaceful, productive, and progressive societies. MBT derives its conceptual basis from Mahatma Gandhi's doctrine of trusteeship. If I gain a fair amount of wealth, either by way of legacy or by means of trade and industry, I must know that all the wealth does not belong to me. What belongs to me is only the right to an honorable livelihood, a return for labor and care, no better than that enjoyed by millions of others. The rest belongs to the community and must be used for the welfare of the society. The MBT is constantly inspired by the thought leadership of Mr. P. Vijayam IPS. From a child laborer in party fields and construction sites and a self-taught school dropout, Mr. Vijayam traveled a long way till he reached the prestigious Indian Police Service. Mr. Vijayan is the brain behind many nationally acquired policing and community initiatives. He is the winner of the CMM IBM Indian of the Year in 2014 and the Indian President's Police Medal for Meritorious Service in 2016. MPT has its roots in various philanthropic activities initiated in 2006. These include Operation Candlelight, MBT Learning Centers, SEEP and Project Hall. And yes, when the nation went into lockdown during the pandemic, MBT rose to the occasion and took up programs spreading positivity and exploring possibilities of human resilience. MBT's initiatives like Feed a Stomach program, Drug Banks, the Rossi Help Desk, and Break Chain Make Change campaign captured the public imagination in no time. As part of reaching out to the people locked up due to lockdown, MBT launched the Post Post Talk series. Post Post stands for Positivity and Possibilities, the very lifeline of human existence. Since then, the program has gathered a huge viewership from across the world. In our 46 episodes, nearly 100 speakers who have etched their marks in professional excellence address the MBT audience. Figures show that on average, the post post talk held on Fridays in the time at 7 p.m. reached 3 million people every week. The overwhelming success of Friday Talks prompted MPT to launch the global section of post post. better tomorrow wherein during these uh, challenging COVID times where we thought the, the younger minds who are at home unfortunately are not in a position to move out meet people meet their friends meet their teachers and that is when we thought that this initiative like POSPOS would keep them engaged would keep them positive would, would keep them interacted with a lot of these eminent experts from across the globe uh, and then, you know, that is the intent of how POSPOS took shape of, and that's how here we are with us, the sixth episode, in fact, the global episode that we rightly call it, you know, we are joined with uh, none other than a, a very celebrity speaker, a very celebrity actor, Ashish Vidyapiji, uh, who's been phenomenal that all of us know from across the globe, if I can say that, for the uh, good interest of film industry, for the good uh, people who follow the film industry across 12 languages that he has uh, been part of, across uh, more than 200 films, uh, 25 years plus of experience in the industry, the ups and downs that he thought 
uh, that he has gone through or the, the film industry per se over his career has gone through he probably wanted it to be converted and displayed and portrayed uh, in the right way for the good interest of of the younger generation and of other uh, members in the society and that's how under his able guidance that avid minor has been phenomenal and has been instrumental to a lot of uh, uh, young minds uh, to a lot of members in the society where there's a lot of confusion there's a lot of uh, decision making troubles there's a lot of uh, things that they're struggling with with regard to their decision making skills and that is how avid minor rightly been involved with a lot of corporates over 200 corporates if i can say including that of uh, corporates like Wipro, uh, Tata Consulting, Airtel, and number of huge corporates that he has been involved with and over thousands of uh, participants uh, that he has uh, trained or rather if I can say transformed for the bigger interest. Uh, I've also personally had the good opportunity a uh, few years uh, back uh, to have had interacted with him on a personal note at another conference. Really glad and happy to coincidence that Saif called me in the morning uh, requesting me uh, to, to do the welcome today. And that's how five years back, I also was in a similar position to do a welcome to this great eminent uh, speaker that we have today, the personality that we have today, uh, Sri Ashish Vidyarthi ji. A hearty welcome uh, to you, Ashish Vidyarthi sir, uh, for joining us uh, live. Uh, we've been all of probably, I'm, I'm sure all of us have been going through your Facebook and Insta. We know you've been uh, going through a little challenging times and uh, I hope and I'm sure that you are keeping safe and positive after your small stint uh, with COVID-19. <laughs> Hi, Ranjit. How are you? Very namaskar, good. namaskar. Namaskar, namaskar everybody. And uh, yes, uh, one of the one of the things that we have to all get that we are here in spite, not because. Absolutely. All right. Yes, sir. So, so before we uh, go into the topic, uh, let me quickly uh, welcome my other colleagues uh, uh, on, on board at MBT. And I'll, I'll deeply fail in my responsibility. It is not that uh, it is, but nonetheless, uh, no, P. Vijayan, IPS, uh, IG Vijayan, sir, has been phenomenal or instrumental in, in the lives of many of us, per se, uh, wherein we identified the, the lack of involvement that we showed towards the society that we should rightly have or holding hands for the underprivileged children, even during the times of COVID-19, irrespective of the situation that we are all facing, uh, that uh, no, no, he was never at, at, at rest, if I can say that, uh, right from 2020, uh, the, the initial days of COVID, uh, wherein we started under Mission Better Tomorrow and Able Guidance of Vijayan Sir, uh, a feed a stomach uh, initiative where we fed around 8 lakhs empty stomachs, if I can say that, over the entire state of Kerala and 1.5 lakhs of food provision kits that were distributed across the state. And this year, we've come up even more uh, with a bigger motive and intention. Uh, we've got a doctor's help desk wherein 500 plus doctors already are on board to help in the good interest of the members who are going through a physically tough uh, challenge times, physically and mentally, per se, if I can say that. So that's how MBT, that's how uh, the uh, various associations joined along with MBT has been contributing, trying to contribute, if I can say, towards the good interest of the society. Let me also at the outset welcome our very own IGP Vijay and IPS sir uh, to, to, to this episode uh, today. Now, nonetheless, uh, we've uh, briefly covered all of it. I have my good associates who've joined us uh, with this uh, episode uh, today. Uh, we've got uh, CBSE school students, we've got uh, doctor students, we've got uh, civil service aspirants, we've got chartered accountant students, we've got legal students, we've got uh, viewers from across the globe, uh, if I can say from various parts of Europe, uh, US, uh, UK, uh, Middle East, uh, Southeast Asia, Far East, uh, wherever you call it, we are there, or I would say our, our viewers are there. Thank you so much to each one of you and welcoming you all once again to the sixth episode of POS POS uh, Global Series. Now let me hand it over uh, to the moderator for the day, uh, Anand Haridas. Uh, over to you, Anand. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ranjit Varia. Good evening to all of you. I'm Anand Haridas. I'm a member of Mission Better Tomorrow. In this dark hour of despair, we have been doing our bit to spread positivity and explore possibilities in life. The post post talk series is one such attempt. And in this, we are drawing a constant inspiration from one personality, as Rajit has rightly pointed out, it's Inspector General of Police, PVJ and IPS. His life is the epitome of how brave uh, the, we, we, one can be. One can be in the harshest situations and emerge successful in life. Mission Better Tomorrow is driven by his thought leadership. 
let me invite inspector general of police p vj to speak the introductory note on today's topic which is hope the foundation of life sir please thank you thank you mr anand thank you ranjit uh, thank you so much uh, arshichi for joining this sixth episode of global series of uh, uh, pride talk series and um, uh, one way we can uh, we are very happy that uh, you know uh, this is the this all together the regional language and all together it is the 53rd edition we are doing it and um, uh, we are getting constant support from different parts of the world in in making it this is successful and uh, now this is an another major event because uh, you are as an uh, eminent actor and a uh, uh, highly motivational speaker and highly spirited person joining us this evening that's uh, really great and with thanks once again uh, that is uh, uh, when we talk about the hope actually when we look around it's uh, uh, I no doubt that is unprecedented crisis and related miseries are uh, untold actually and uh, that is the it is not very limited to very few people or at very few people uh, region it's a world pandemic in 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 all sense actually inside the house itself is it's a very difficult i can't or we can't even hug our son uh, you know it's, a, it's a, uh, we are afraid of hugging our own son or eating with our aged mother so all actually it's now it's a, we are living in a world of fear actually and at least 120 million pe uh, people might have been pushed to poverty during this entire period and we don't know and how many people more is going to be pushed uh, be below the poverty line and now the second wave second wave uh, now uh, we are seeing that in july the second wave may reach to almost come down and the third wave is expected in the very soon and in the third wave the most affected people will be our own children so this is the the, the, the scenario existing uh, very often nowadays the last few, at least one month the calls uh, telephone calls which are i'm getting is uh, by either my friends or the from our own the uh, charitable uh, entities we are getting the either for oxygen or for getting admission to the icus or for ventilator or getting a space or slot in crematorium crematoriums are full actually three days four days there is no space to be given for them for the the dead the deceased people that is the scenario so but uh, we can't uh, we can't be hopeless because the the the, the very foundation of our life is nothing but uh, hope uh, actually yes we can it's one fact is that it is a very well known fact that is anything everything can be taken away from us except our freedom of choice of our own hope thoughts and attitude our thoughts it's our own choice anyone anything can think or uh, taken away from anything from us but it's uh, you know that's uh, it's uh, it's these thoughts our choice of thoughts no one can take away so we, this is the the foundation this is the, the the basis we must all be keep in our mind this is i'm very convinced of this fact from very very childhood but uh, when sometimes i my souls also get sometimes uh, le little little uh, derailed, derailed of my conviction but then something or someone will happen in my life that will be again reinforce it Recently, very interesting, very unfortunate, or one incident happened in, in and around my own house, actually. A mother bull bill built a nest on the bush, bush inside my portico. Actually, we all were really thrilled that is the way it has been constructing that nest and all the, the, the way that mother bull taking care of that uh, this entire activity. Then actually, it is a, it is a, the way we have constructed the house is that it has given a space for uh, almost all the insects, some especially the birds and uh, some other things. They can also be called live with us in uh, in and around our house. That way we have constructed there. But uh, the the after con this almost completion of that nest, the the soon the bull laid two eggs and it hatched on it and it got uh, two chicks. And we were really enjoying or witnessing the beauty or creation of this wonderful nature. Unfortunately, a villain appeared, a rat and snake, really, snake, really, uh, it's, it's a smelled out the cheeks and attacked the nest. Uh, actually, we were alerted by the commotion the parent birds created. And we were a little bit late, actually. My, our team, our staff and all were actually thrilled by this one. And means the entire uh, the creation of nature, but uh, we were a bit late in responding to this one. 
But by the time we reached, the snake had eaten or swallowed one kid, one chick, and it was almost following the other one, and uh, it's uh, and it fell down also. And uh, the, the uh, we chased the snake; it uh, it uh, uh, ran away, and uh, injured, but the injured uh, that the you know that that the, the chick chick uh, left back was really seriously injured. Without much hope, we put, we put back the we put back the, uh, the, the the remaining chick in the nest, and uh, it was really uh, a sad day for us because uh, we thought that is that uh, bull bull mother bull bull might have uh, put a lot of faith in us and we'll protect its chicks, but uh, we unfortunately failed, and we thought that is one of our family members that uh, two chicks. To our surprise, that mother didn't leave that hope. I she can't leave its hope because it's 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 it's, a, it's its own blood. So what it did, did uh, sir, it laid on that uh, remaining the remaining chicks uh, for continuously two three days with absolute care and protection, even without bothering about its own survival or food or anything like that. And it is our surprise that uh, the next two days we could see that is uh, the. You know the the, the child, this uh, the this uh, this uh, uh, one chick with life it has been uh, left out by that snake as so slowly building it with life and came to a full fledged life and uh, that is uh, that has given an, a really a good lesson or a big reinforcement to my conviction in hope never to lose hope because help is always around that if we are really determined. And we are really hopeful. Life, not nothing is lost, and nothing is impossible. Let me put one more story in front of you. Then I will bind up that one soon. There was once uh, there was a king, and a really a, a king, king had a powerful and a strong, beautiful elephant. He led many battles, and all in all the battles, the king was victorious. When it became old, as usual, it was uh, it was retired from army. One day, it was drinking water from the nearby lake, and it got stuck in the mud. The king and the entire courtiers, the, the team, tried to, to tried everything to pull it out, pull it, the elephant out. But all of them failed, and all the entire nation was in, in death. And the old elephant also tried at their level, but it got finally tired and was dying. Meanwhile, Gautam Buddha was passing by. He saw what was happening and inspected the site and asked the king to, to sound the battle drums. All was wondering that what he was talking about, instead of putting, giving an inter helping hand, he's asking to beat the, the, the battle drums. But all, uh, all, all, all uh, tried it in and around that, it means all the surroundings of that lake, they tried to beat the drums. Why hearing this one slowly that the, 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 the elephant got up, slowly got up, and it pulled it themselves and in itself and came out. So the thing is the hope is the battle drum we need to we need to do here now. And let us all play the battle drum, the drum of hope and enthusiasm by ourselves, by the people around us. Then only we can come out of this uh, this uh, this uh, pandemic period. We, in our smaller way, Mission Better Tomorrow, Student Police Cadet, our ORC, our responsibility to children and the Nanma Foundation, in May, this is actually trying to beat their own drums in different forms. One is the, the project home to help the failed and dropout students of their uh, students from uh, their academies uh, to help them come, come to become victorious again, uh, victorious in their education and uh, in academics and find a better life. Feed a, feed a stomach program, as Mr. Anand and uh, Ranjit was talking about, that is, uh, we were extending our, our helping hand as a human being in the extraordinary uh, pandemic situation in an extraordinary, we are showing an extraordinary level of compassion and feeding the, the destitute and the, the homeless and the hospital bystanders and all in our own way. So it has grown up to a situation that is running around the 26 Christian across the state and uh, extending helping hand to our eight lakhs the post-post series it's the, this one also it is uh, it is actually it is to, to the one way of beating the drums uh, to into to to, to instigate the people to not to uh, ask them not to leave the hope and always to get out of it and uh, 
do it in and in and come up. We have a doctor's help uh, for the Pravasis and for this, uh, the people. Um, over 150 doctors day and night, they are working for the helping out these people. And uh, we have an, uh, we have running a, 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 a GD helpline for the children. Though actually the most affected, most suffered a lot among the, all this is our children. They are really in lockdown since last, at least last uh, March, uh, actually March 2020. And their suffering is untold. I don't know how, what will be the, the after effect of such psychological, such uh, uh, lockdown be suffered by our people, our children. It's, uh, it's affecting yet to come. So in our, so we have received almost 15,000 calls from different parts of this Kerala and uh, from children uh, uh, talking about various issues they have been suffering. So, so we are not actually, we are not really feeding food or we are not preaching, we are not actually giving a helping hand or we are really feeding the hope. The question here is that, the question here is that it is a, that we have, anything and everything can be taken away from us. We know that one. The free, but the, the freedom of uh, choice of our thought is ours. The question is that who is the driver of our thoughts? If you are, you will be, you will definitely come out of. If you are not the real driver, then the, there will be a problem. So let us be, take the uh, steering and lead the, the our own thoughts. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You have given us a wonderful start for this evening's discussion. And uh, you have done it through the story, the beautiful story of Gautam Buddha and the battle drums. Uh, indeed, we are going through hard times and we have two options. One, to surrender and two, to fight back. We will fight back. And in this battle, hope is a tool that we have. To speak about hope, we have today with us Ashish Vidyarthi. He has been traveling around the world, spreading the message of positive thinking. Let's have a quick glance at his personality and invite him to the show. Mission Better Tomorrow, inspiring positivity and exploring possibilities. Ashish Vidyarthi holds more surprises in his act than one expects. He takes up from a long, illustrious lineage. His father, Govind Vidyarthi, was a multilingual scholar and single-handedly built the archives of Kendra Sangeeta Nautical Academy. His mother, Reba Vidyathi, was a noted teacher of Kathak in the Lucknow Karana. He graduated from the National School of Drama and was part of many successful theatre productions. His big entry to the film world was marked by the National Award for Supporting Actor in the film Droh Kal by Govind Nikhlani. Since then, he acted in almost every Indian language and portrayed an entire spectrum of characters. A passionate traveler and amazing communicator, Ashish Vidyarthi has employed his skills in motivational interventions. Till date, he has worked with more than 200 organizations across the world and impacted thousands of people. Sir, in this hour of despair, we look up to your boundless energy to stay inspired. A hearty welcome to the sixth episode of the Post Post Global Talk. Shishta, welcome to the show. Namaskar. Namaskar. Welcome, sir. everybody. And thank you, Anand, for having me over. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, so let's begin the talk without any further delay. As uh, we have rightly mentioned, repeatedly mentioning, in the time of difficulty, it is extremely difficult to believe that things will get better. But despite all the ups and downs in life, you <laughs> seem to be able to find an inner source for motivation. How does that work for you, Ashista? So uh, let's face it. So let's let's get really into access conversation. So hope sometimes, you know, we think is a is a figment of our imagination. All right. So if we all agree that you know we say that hope is a figment of imagination. All right. And the rest of us want to say no, 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 no. Hope is not a figment of imagination. So I want to want to begin with one thing, saying that uh, you know reality around doesn't have much of something, but then we have to infuse something into it. 
all right and that is why i want to humbly submit to this extraordinary set of people that hope is a figment of our imagination but it is something which we want to imagine how the how the future is going to look like so therefore we have a job at hand anand all right so we we are we are saying that no there is no there is no possibility of hope yeah i'm sure and that is why hope is needed and since it is not based on reality <clears throat> okay we are all caught up with reality right no no just just look at the situation i got it okay and uh, you know just at this beginning point uh, anand i would like to share as we take this conversation i would like to share at this very point uh, uh, a small a small two minute that i made day before yesterday uh, on hope and i would i would like to as as you are listening to it i just want you to think of something that in the absence of something something has to be imagined all right it is not in the presence of it when there is a lot of it we don't respect it but where we typically need something is in the absence of it all right so just at this point uh, may i can you organize that that particular video be played for this yeah segment? definitely Sorry. definitely we'll just to that. let you all know just to let you all know this video is premiering on the pause pause show all right so this is the first time that it's going to be showed uh, on the pause pause show here it is namaskar bandhu my name is ashish vidyarthi i want to share a thought with you do you know whenever there is vitamin deficiency that's when we need vitamins the most similarly when there is a deficiency of hope that's when we need hope because hope is that elixir which allows us to work for that future of which we see no proof in the present yes dear friends this period is one of gloom each one of us has had personal losses but what next because there is a next that future which we see no evidence of today that future will be constructed from steps that we take today this period needs people to infuse hope because this period is the only period that we have remember when we want to look back on this period what kind of tales shall we tell shall we only tell tales of gloom or will we also share that you know what times were tough but we got together and did something extraordinary because the way out of this present begins from here and that future that inspires both you and me is going to be created in this moment al shukran bandhu al shukran zindagi remember that sun shall rise again to a bright tomorrow thank you very much oh ashuda that's 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 something amazing that that's an introduction that we needed that's the inspiration that we needed yeah so if we if we can understand very very clearly you know just in the context of the question that you ask anand that in the absence of something when we want to create something and the future is why we want to create it so we 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 can always lead our lives in two different ways i've always felt that either we talk about the present or we go about creating that future you know it's it's a bit like saying that are you going to be a player or are you going to be a commentator so we have a lot of commentators in life commentators who will tell you how the ball should have been played what should have been done what could have been done and then there are some extraordinary people like you uh, uh you know vijayan sir and this entire community which is in action and when people are in action that is you know these are dreamers my friend okay these are dreamers and and i'll share one you know one interesting thought that it could be of you know you may find of interest just checking with this group okay i can actually read your chat so you may even put in your uh, things you know you can just put in your chats it'll be un- interesting that when we can interact tell me one thing <clears throat> do you like the mundane the boring the normal what is there or do you like magic quickly tell me i can read your messages you can just put in your chat do you like the mundane the normal the, the regular thing which is not good on a routine boring da da di di da ah ranjit is saying 
And a lot of you people are kind of mentioning magic, right? Magic. Now, I will. I got it, Bipin. I got it, Bipin. Okay, just write magic. If, if magic inspires you, write magic. Have the guts to start saying the things that you want, all right? Don't be scared. Are they, are, what if I say, what if I look stupid? No, it doesn't matter, my friend. The world is created by people who are stupid, people like me, people like you, all right? People who believe in magic. Now, I'll tell you something very interesting about magic. Magic has no logic. Magic has no logic. Magic is woo. What happened? How did it happen? That's what you are creating. Hope, therefore, are in a scenario where there is no possibility of hope. Where people are saying, oh, how can you talk about hope? There is no hope. And that's why we need to create this magical thing. Because that magic is something which is going to draw us towards that which inspires you and me. All right. So, so to, to begin with, the source of that magic is within this person. Whom am I pointing to? Any idea whom am I pointing to? I'm pointing to a series of me's. It's not hum karenge. It is main karunga. It is I will do it. I, I have to infuse hope in the absence of any logic to it. So if you just look at what you people are doing and what so many other people are doing or what we are doing at Avid Minor, we are very clear. This period needs action. All right. So individually also, I'm telling you, never stop dreaming. Never stop asking from life that extraordinary, which you yourself say, yeah, but is it possible? That is why I'm saying, believe in magic, my friend. And the magic thing that is needed at this moment is hope. Thank you, Ashuda. Uh, like uh, you have said that we need to create that magic from our life, the, what we have learned from our life. We are indeed a sum total of our experiences. We cannot go back and erase any of our memories, good or bad. We have to accept it. How do we learn from the past and move on without being haunted by it? Like you had a very rich uh, childhood. You, you were born in Delhi, grew up in Delhi, and now you are living in Mumbai. And you have been all over India as part of your work. So what are the lessons that you have imbibed from your past? What keeps you going? So... So I want you to consider one moment. Whatever, I'm 55, I've learned a lot, but I make new mistakes, all right? And I think I'm, I'm going to be speaking for a, quite a few people. I, just because I know a little bit more, lived a little bit longer, doesn't mean that I know a lot more. No, it just has happened. Consider for a moment, my friend, and this is the critical part. You know, at this point, both Kaveri, Suraj, uh, uh, Vijayan sir, Anand Haridas, Ashish, we are all at the same level. Kaveri is smiling. She's wondering how I took her name. Kaveri, I can read your name. All right. So please listen. Each one of us, we may have whatever experience that we have. What matters is what are you doing with your life at this moment? All right. I promise you, I do not think, okay, what are the things that I learned? I already am, Anand, as you said in the question itself, I already am a sum total of the things that I did and the things that I did not do. Things that worked and things that did not work out. I am a sum total of that. And I am like no one else. I cannot be you. You cannot be me. I cannot be, you know, Kaveri or Madhav or Suraj. Or, or you know, I cannot be like anyone. I cannot be like Vijayan sir. I cannot be. But I can be an extraordinary me. So the key part in this is don't be worried about what you learned and what you got. You don't even need to remember. You actually know what, where you want to go, what you want in your life. You know what brings a smile to your face. You know, you know that. Okay. So each one of us, Ranjit, each one of us knows what brings a smile to our face. For some, it is writing. For some, it's traveling. For some, it's buying something. For some, it's planting trees. So I don't know what. But go about fulfilling that which brings a smile to your face. And I promise you one thing you will discover that your source is there for your dream. It's not what somebody else has asked you to do. That is why, that is why, you know, uh, gatherings like this get created because nobody's forcing you to come here, right? It's something that you wish to do. And remember, there'll be some people who will be with you and many who will not be with you. 
But the game in your life is to get, are you going about doing what inspires you? And as you go, and this is the critical part, Anand, and this is, this is the important part. As you go about completing, as you go about realizing that which inspires you, get one thing, be very good at it. Be amazing at it. And that is what inspires me in life. So when I share with people, listening to my talk at this very moment, listening to this conversation at this very moment, somebody might want to open a restaurant. Somebody might want to open a, a club, a, you know, a, a yoga studio, maybe a travel company, maybe just to write a new book. Each person has something unique that they wish to achieve in their life. The game in life is to realize that I, I'm talking about this I, I am the only person who is committed to my dreams. Remember this. So when you are committed to your dreams, remember you are in a world. You are in a world and you better be amazing at it. So in this period, a key part of hope is that hope, you do not just realize something just by hoping. Hope is the beginning part. Hope is something which gets you awake in the morning. But then what you do in the morning is going to translate into realization of that hope. And therefore, the entire game in life is to be in continuous preparation, in continuous learning, in continuous advancement, in continuous growth in service of that which you are committed to. And therefore, you have very little time, my friend. You have very little time to be upset with yourself. Oh, the life is unfair. Are, if only this could be the... If it is not like that. Life is bam, the way it is. The life is the way the life is at this moment. And I'll, I'll just share one more thing. I really want this entire group to know very, very clearly. There is no place in life to feel sorry or be sorry for others. I'm feeling so bad for you. I guess, you know, I feel bad for people. But, you know, I realize nothing happens out of it. I feel sorry for myself. Nothing happens out of it. Nothing. So be very, very straight. Life is the way it is, yeah. That the tree fell and the other tree did not fall. Life is what it is. You cannot argue with life. Life just dishes it out. Remember, all of us love to argue with our parents. Why do you do this? You think this is right? No, no, I'm feeling bad. We, are, we, we get upset with our spouse. We kind of go, oh, we are upset with our child. Oh, we get upset with our friend. Oh, but life doesn't listen to you. And that's what we are. Uh, basically, you know, we are most upset because nobody is listening to our complaint. We are getting upset with you. You did this. You did. COVID is not listening. COVID is changing. What COVID is asking you and me to do, my friend, is follow the lessons that it's giving. Remember, it doesn't listen to your complaints. And it is the villain, right? You agree? It's the villain. And you can't complain about that villain. Welcome to real life. In real life, life happens in spite, not because. So in spite of what is happening around, ask yourself this one question. How can I go about creating that which inspires me in spite of what is there? Don't wait for the right time because I promise you, the only thing that I've learned in life, life is not, you know, like in a restaurant, you go and you ask, uh, uh, can we have some uh, chicken Manchurian? And somebody else says, uh, I want a Hakka noodles and this. You know, you order what you want. Uh, may I have my Hakka noodles spicy and, and something like this? But in life, you can't order. Life just gives that. That it gives. Now you do what it is. All right? So that's my, that's my take on this. Yes, you have rightly said that. Uh, we, we, it starts, the journey starts from ourselves. It's about we reacting to the present, the moment. And that makes us, we are our own worst enemy. Many of us blame fate when, it, when the life gets hard and give in to self-pity. So how do we break down these barriers we build around ourselves and progress towards our goals? So ask yourself that question. Ask yourself a direct question. Does it satisfy you? Does it help you? If you feel sad for yourself, ask yourself this question, honestly. I, I, I understand that you will get a few shoulders to cry on. I understand so much. Yeah, so sad for you. So after that, what happens? Nothing. So 
doesn't it have you ever played football have you played football anyone played football yeah okay please understand that whatever you are doing you are doing for that goal you are going to you know score that goal that's it on the way the ball goes here yeah, you lose it that person loses it the other team scores but still you want to get the ball and score welcome to real life real life is only about you freeing yourself from anything which traps you feeling sorry is one of the worst things that can happen to anyone feeling sorry feeling a martyr oh gosh how unlucky i am these are all your stories do you know harshvardhan nayar anyone of you knows harshvardhan nayar harshvardhan acha do you know harshvardhan sen gupta do you know harshvardhan sen gupta anyone knows harshvardhan sen gupta nandu you don't know a hey, bless on you don't know any harshvardhan sen gupta i just made up that name okay please understand there is a harshvardhan nanda or whatever name i made that person is very upset with life and you don't even know that person similarly we are continuously looking for if only you understand my pain nobody is understand nobody got the time for that very very important my friend remove anything which makes you even doubt and think that maybe i am unlucky maybe i am poor me bhai if you are unlucky and if you are poor me best best wishes best wishes nothing is going to happen or that remember the way out of this scenario whichever scenario you and i are in and i promise you we all are in scenarios my friend don't think that that person is <laughs> everybody has got a back story each one of us is dealing with stuff but what i want you to get is the way out of this is from this the ladder is not going to be put in the future the ladder is going to be put right now and that is when you and i have to climb and to head whichever way we are so therefore remove disappear first of all there are no walls you know the walls that we create i am not good enough i am i didn't get a good education uh, my parents didn't do enough for me i am from a backward thing i am from a too much forward thing i am from left i am from right and all these things are your issues the world doesn't care the world only cares for people who create results life is result oriented my friend remember at home they will give you free lunches they will take care of you your parents are very nice very nice the world is not like that in the world there are no free lunches so be a person who can cause things in their life all right so and when you want to cause you better be free you, you want to be unfettered if you feel very small good luck good luck to you but what will really add value to you is yes i am committed to create something if i don't know how to do it a i will learn how to do it a few things that i cannot learn i will start looking at who to work with remember the entire world is available to you the moment we create walls then we say oh no one is available to me no my friend the entire world is available to you i am speaking to you from a very beautiful i'll quickly show you once again let me quickly show you where i am before the light completely goes i'm sitting on the balcony of my dear friend sunil and amla's house at dharampur in himachal all right and and we have issues with with uh, you know broadband but guess what i'm sitting out in the balcony and what you, what i can hear in the distance are uh, you know uh, peacocks and stuff like that and i'm here committed to creating some extraordinary results we are all in different boats my friend we are all in different boats but all of us are in the same storm so remember you aren't alone and remember that there are ways to be found out ways how you can move ahead just keep looking for it and keep moving so one of the key things that uh, we need to do in doing this and keep moving and keep rowing forward yeah you have to handle the stress so we need to reevaluate our ideas of success most yeah. people get bogged down by the rat race and fail to see the beauty of life you have just shown us a glimpse of the beautiful life that is unfolding around you so ashish da what are the small things that you appreciate so very clearly you see right now i've shown you a very beautiful part of the country right where i am right now just before this i was shooting in in covid invested 
you know, the, the place which is a lot of cases and we are working that extremely hot. We are working very trying situation. Guess what? My friend was saying, oh, you were in such a place. I said, but I was completely enjoying it. You know why? Because that is where I was. Remember, my friend, don't live a life longing to be in a beautiful place. You know, we are all wanting to be there. So we are waiting to be happy. I'll be happy one day when I reach there. My friend, life is happening right now where you are with what you have. So choose that. So that's, that's point number one. That if you can start enjoying wherever you are. And again, I'm saying, remember I said that all of us are dealing with stuff. All of us are dealing with stuff. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. And remember, you are that engineer. You are head of a corporation called your life. You are the CEO of your life. And your life is dealing with whatever you're dealing with. Now, be a CEO. You know, use your creativity. Use your expertise. Use your friends. Reach out to them. Hey, listen, how do I maneuver my way out of this? Imagine you are a CEO who is visiting an arm of yours called the Pause Pause Talks. And that's how you're here. This entire set of people are working for you. Start looking at life as an ally. For too long, we have been looking at life as something which is against us. You know, this place is not good for me. That place is against me. That person against me. Guess what? You will find a lot of people against you. You will find life against you. So one of the key things that I've done is I vote for me. When I vote for me, I vote for where I am is the best place that I could be ever. So the many a times people ask me, you know, sir, you know, I came to Bombay then, you know, when do you think I should have come? I said, which date did you come? Then they give me that date. I said, which year? They give me that date. That year, I said, perfect date. And he says, why is that the perfect date for me? I said, that's the perfect date for you, have, for you to have come to Bombay because that is the date that you came to Bombay. My friend, if you can choose and really get that the best place that you could ever be is the place that you are in, then only can you be happily creating something to get out of the situation if you don't like it. Otherwise, you will say, I'm so unlucky I'm here. Look at him. He's in this beautiful place in Dharamshala. You, you kind of go into that. Hey, listen, my friend, never forget. You know, the, these shoulders and this knee that you don't see, all are torn and rotator cuff muscles, everything. So much fights I've had through the years. All the heroes that you go, shee, shee, they've beaten me, my friend. I've fallen on hard rocks and stuff like that. And amazing heat. You know? So remember that I am who I am, having gone through the journey. I am who I can be while going through the journey. So you may be inundated with things, okay? Yes, each one of us gets worried. Yes, and we call it stress, okay? So here is something which I would want you to again consider. Stress in my understanding is something that you wish to deliver, but you cannot deliver. It could, be, it could be your boss has asked you to do something. Oh, I can't do it. So or you're not being able to do it, become, become, become stress. As, as Vijayan Sarva says, oh, we ought to go out. No, but you're not allowed to go out. Stress. Now, remember, if you, if you keep looking at saying, I want this, but I don't have it. And since I don't have it, I will have stress. You will have stress. Have the ability to dance with what life is giving you. All right? Play with it, my friend. Be, be a football player and the life happens to be your football. Okay, be around it. Find different things. Get innovative. You know, get inventive. Read something. Watch something. Talk to people. Your job is to keep this guy alert, alive and agile. It's your job. Nobody else is going to do it. And I promise you one thing. You know, whichever way that you see me, I have to keep myself ignited. Nobody else is going to do that. And the entire world is my ally. I have friends all over. Anand is one of them. Anand is my family. I have family friends all over the world. People that I've met and I have invested in as, as friendships. I really am inviting you, dear friend, make the most of this scenario. You may be, uh, you may be in your houses, but nobody's asked your brain and your mind to be close. No. You can reach out and you have, the, you have the privilege of doing so. So start learning from people who have never, who don't even know you. 
I have got quite a few teachers who don't know me. Barack Obama is one of my teachers. He shares with me how to give public oration. He doesn't know about it. I am the eklavya to his dronacharya. So this is truly the moment for you to reach out and make the most of this very situation. And then you will realize people around you will say, I'm stressed. You can just tell them, hey, listen, I'm not stressed. I'm just in, in this lockdown and I'm doing something while I'm here. Thank you, Ashish. Dad. We are going absolutely well. We still have a packed house in Zoom and we are being followed in our social media. Now I think it's time for us to go to the questions. The first question is from Richard Alboin. He is a leading filmmaker and actor from Ghana. He wants oh, wow. He has a question for you. Richard, are you online? Richard? I think I saw Richard. Yeah, he is, he is here. <clears throat> Richard, can, can you hear us? Richard? Okay, fine. Uh, I think he is missed out. So we'll quickly go to Singapore. Where Singapore, in Singapore, we have Vibin Sharma waiting for, uh, waiting for you uh, with a question. Vibinji, Vibinji, are you online? Yes, uh, Namaskar Ashish ji. Swagat hai ji aapka, Namaskar. Aapke, aapke to naam mein hi vidya hai aur aapko sunke bada achcha laga aur jo aapne baat kahi main wali, wo mujhe bahut achchi lagi. Mera prashna hai ki Bharat mein COVID ke karan vash kaafi logo ne apni jane gawai hai. Jisko jana tha, wo to chala gaya. लेकिन असली दुख का सामना तो जो अपने पीछे रह गए हैं उनको करना पड़ता है ऐसे समय में जब एक इंसान टूट चुका है उसमें आप आशा की किरण कैसे जगाते हैं एंड फॉर द सेक ऑफ ऑडियंस आई विल स्पीक इन इंग्लिश एज़ वेल लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल हैव लॉस्ट देयर लव्ड वंस टू कोविड-19 कॉम्प्लिकेशंस इन इंडिया दे हैव लेफ्ट अ बिग वॉइड एंड पेन फॉर द ग्रीविंग फैमिलीज लेफ्ट बिहाइंड हाउ टू ब्रिंग अ रे ऑफ होप पॉजिटिविटी एंड कंसोल देम so bipin ji i will be having a very straight conversation on this all right very important uh we all have lost people very very close to us all right and uh, yes grieving is part of life okay i don't like it but yes it is part of life but what i realize is that life is for the living there is something called memory in which people are there and you are torn by that but an interesting part is that you will stay longer in grieving if you have nothing at hand to do and one of the things that i share with people as i share with myself is that when you have some things to do a purpose in at hand then you will not keep sinking and feeling sorry and feeling sad for even those who have passed because those who have passed they have that's a loss which will never ever even with your grieving never nothing will ever bring it back even if you find who's responsible for it will never you will never get it back but what you can do what you and i can do with our life is much more valuable now here is something which i would really like to share with you this is a work that we do at avid mind which are very very uh, very uh, you know keen on it's called nurturing people so consider for a moment that typically you know growing up when when we are at home you know our parents take care of us all right so we are receiving we are receiving something from parents then we go to school our teachers again give us so we are again receiving uh, we don't like this teacher we get this you know we kind of get this and then we and then by the time we go out suddenly we are in a world which says hey listen i will pay you but only if you do something to me all right now it's that free hours and free lunch is gone so the first time we realize that for me to add value to more value to be added to me i will need to add value to others now very very important for us to get that each one of us has that amazing possibility of being the nurturer not just the person who wants but a person who wants to contribute the moment i start looking at me as a contributor that at the time that i'm not contributing imagine the loss that i'm causing to the living and therefore dear friend it is very very important to recognize yourself as the contributor 
who can take time off a bit. Yes, I'm feeling bad. I'm feeling sad. Yes, I'm grieving. But this contributor, the more the contributor is not contributing, imagine the impact of it. And therefore, the idea is for each one of us to get each one of us has an amazing amount to contribute and that's what we are doing and as we realize that the living need us the living need us that is the way ahead for me it is that magnet it's that magnet of what I can do with my life what all I can do with my life that will pull you through because otherwise the loss the grief is very hard to go away my friend and I promise you, each one of us has gone through that. And yet, life will go on. Life will go on. And this life and the future is going to be determined by the amazing action, Bipinji, you, each one. And I can see Richard also, that each one, Vijayan sir, Anand, you know, Aisha, Alex, each person, what we do with our life. And I think that valuable thing, if we keep in mind, we will keep striding on. And we'll realize, you know what? I've done something amazing in this period. I have contributed. Add it to the living. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, I think Richard is back. Richard, are you online? Yeah. Richard, go ahead. Please ask your question to Ashish Vidyarthi. Okay. Uh, I hear it is afternoon. So good afternoon. Hi, Richard. Yes. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon where you are. Yeah, thank you very much for your explanations and uh, and I'll say your lectures or sermon. Uh, I'm happy I, I was here before you started talking, and I love your two minutes uh, presentation too. Yeah, my question is: we're all talking about hope. Uh, what must we do for the generation uh, for the youth of this generation? when political leaders continue to do what they are doing, which does not have the interests of the youth in focus, when polit uh, politicians are not setting up uh, long-term strategic policies, which will foster the development of the youth. The youth have no, they can't see from, uh, they can't see 10 years from now. Everything surrounding us is politicized. The politician is doing this, the politician is doing that. So our life is decided by politicians. So what must we do to help the youth have the hope that they can, there's something they can do to make things happen to the, the betterment of their life? In the midst of, like you said, in spite of all this. You said it. Richard, you said it. <laughs> so... Uh... Richard, whichever part of the world, you, I believe you're in Ghana? Yeah, I'm in Accra, Ghana. All right. So, you, you know, you're, you're, you're from Ghana. Somebody is in Singapore. Somebody is in India. Somebody in, in the U.S. Somebody in, in France. Somebody, you know, in any part or in different states of India. They'll all say, that's right, Richard. I agree. Even my politician is not good. Everybody will agree. <laughs> we will all agree, okay? Because, because you know what? Guess what? We love it. We love to hate them. We love to hate people in power, my friend. I tell you, this is a personal thing. Yeah. I have been, I have been, you see, I, I, I was 18 years old some years back. And I've seen quite a few governments, quite a few governments, not just in India, all over the world. I'm a student of history. Okay. I promise you, I promise you, no political party ever, ever, ever uh, politics are, politicians are amazing people, amazing people. They have the future. <laughs> no one ever thought that politicians were good, okay? Guess what? Still we are here. So mm -hmm. let's alter some languaging of ours. Very, very important. Because a politician, the youth can't see the future. Good for them, yeah? If they can't see the future. I I'll share something very interesting which I learned a few years back. I did this program. I was only child. I had an only child. And, you know, we have hey, this thing. I was just wondering, you know, how can I guide him to be something amazing? And my dear friend Gopal Rao one day told me, he said, you know what, Ashi, if you die at this moment, pop, the child will still grow up the way the child will grow up. Mm. You know, sometimes we give ourselves too much power. You know what? I need to be alive to take care of my child. If I die at this moment, my son, my child, everybody will make it. Please get it. If you and I are not there, gone, 
still life will continue. Life has continued without us. Life will continue without us. A few years back, we weren't here. Life was continuing. A few years later, we won't be there. Life will continue. But the interesting part is here. What we have to enable and what we have to get people to get for themselves, empower them to think that they are going to be in spite. What you started with, Richard. Each one of us cannot wait for the right political leadership, right teachers, right situations, right sanitation, right gardens to, for, 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 for them to flower. I, I'll share a very interesting thought. People, if you know Bombay, you know, Mumbai has the least amount of ground for cricket and the highest number of cricket players used to come from Bombay. We didn't have the facilities. We didn't have the infrastructure. Even till now, people travel 25 kilometers, 30 kilometers to reach a good ground to play cricket, for the kids to play cricket. I promise you, life has never said it's going to be fair. Life has never said that, my friend. Life is only said that what is it that you want? And some of us will go about doing it. So first of all, take away from, uh, from our heads that these poor youngsters poor youth, then they will actually accept and acknowledge, yeah, poor us, there's no one to guide us. The time now is to get, this is the period for you to empower people. What is it that you wish to do? Yeah. I think, yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, I think his line is gone. Yes, I think sir. his network is gone. I, I think his network is gone. It's cut off. His yeah. network problem. <laughs> no problem. He'll be back. Thank you, Rishabh. Thank yeah. you for the question. I think, uh, I hope you got the answer that for the question. Yeah. Uh, we'll wait for uh, Ashish to come back. Ashish Da is having some network issues right now. Uh, he, as we, he told us, he is in Himachal right now, in Dharampur. He is uh, with a friend of ours. Uh, he's with Sunil Sinha and Amala Rai. They are theater persons. Hi, hi. Oh, you, we Hello. lost him. We lost yes. Him. Yeah. And, and can I tell you what happened right now? Yeah. i tell you what happened right now. My, my, my laptop just shut down. My laptop says, your device ran into a problem and needs to restart. It's happened the second time today. So I'm going to deal with it. But right now, I've just come on live with my phone. So Richard, back to the question. Please get it. Life is going to happen in spite. My laptop has just now shut down, my friend. My laptop has <laughs> shut down. And, and, and it is saying that it's shut down. And, and no reason. It's just shut down. Okay. It says your device ran into a problem and needs to restart. We are just collecting some error info. All right. Now, this is how life is. You know, sometimes, just in a moment, maybe... Uh, my lights will go off. Don't worry. I will put it on again. I've got things again. I'll start it. So we have to first empower people, empower the youth, empower anyone that you meet. Stop uh, bad-mouthing the people in power, bad-mouthing that because you can do something about it. You can do something about it. Allow, see, you can have run a movement where you want to, you know, throw away this part, party. Do away with this set of leaders. Go about doing that. But for people who need something, it's about time that we spend time empowering them. That my friends, you can go about achieving the results that you want. And I promise you one thing, Richard, another thing. Nobody is more committed to you than you. Nobody yeah, is true. most committed to me than me. Even the best leaders, I think Barack Obama is an amazing, he did nothing for me here. I think that leader is great, did nothing. Okay. So let us alter our conversations. Let us not start saying that the youth have no future. They can't see 10 years from now. Growing up, I promise you, I was hearing from then, the political leaders have, have, uh, have no idea of the future. Our country has reached this far with even not so good politicians there. I promise you, I promise you, have hope. Have hope and create positive energies so that people can go about finding ways to create results. The world allows people to be unstoppable as long as they believe that they are unstoppable. That I will not be unstoppable if you allow me to be unstoppable. I 
will be unstoppable because I will find ways to be unstoppable. I do. I want you to consider this thought. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank yeah. you very much. Sir, now we move on to Baroda, where Smith Pantia, he's an actor and a radio jockey. He's waiting for you. Uh, Smith, are you online? Yes, sir. Smith ji, go ahead with your question. Hello, Ashish ji. Namaskar. Yes, sir. I'm from Gujarat and I'm an actor and a stand-up comedian. And Baba. RJ. Baba. Yes, sir. And I'm very privileged to be part of this program, entire group session. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, sir, mera, my, my question to you is, sir, sir, I have experienced that uh, hope uh, rises out of helplessness. That okay. is the result of helplessness. So when in that state of mind, sir, when people are going in these difficult times, sir, where will hope come from? Should we like, uh, should we uh, wait for something out, outside stimuli to enter? Or it should come, it should rise from within. And I, I, that is very confusing, sir. So where did it come from, sir? Like, yeah. So I, I will share, I'll, I'll share an anecdote that I share, you know, when I'm giving my motivational talk. And it's a secret, huh? So, but I'll tell okay. you, don't tell, don't tell others, huh? <laughs> Quite the I, I tell them, I tell them that, you know, you call me for a motivational talk, right? Yeah. Can I let you into a secret? The hungry don't need motivation true if you're truly hungry you don't need motivation if you're really hungry if i am hungry i'm on the third floor right now i will i will i don't know i'll get a bed sheet i will kind of scurry down i will i will pull up thing i will eat roots if i'm hungry i don't need to be motivated the trouble is that many of us are actually not hungry. We like to lament. We like to sort of complain. You know, I'm, you know, I'm very talented, yeah, but I don't know. You know, so when the, and then the mother or somebody takes care and gives you some food. And then she tells some other people, my, my child is so talented, you know, but you know, the politics and this world and this, you know, bitter argument, something. So we actually, if we, <laughs> I really want us to get, you know, we are, you know, we lack in hunger and something which I work on, I work on myself, my friend, and this is what I want to invite you all to do is to have hunger in the midst of abundance. So look around you and I have some things, you know, if, if nothing else, most of us who are watching have got 4G. Do you so, know that there are, there, there are millions who have no clue about that, don't even have a phone like where but you have, or a laptop like which you have, or that home that you that you have. It may be a small home. So one thing is very, very clear. I work on personal hunger. Because when you are hungry, you will find ways. I salute you, my friend, for asking the question. That is the many people have that question in their mind. I salute you for asking. All right. I also salute each one who is attending this because you have the hunger. That is why you are here. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Sure. But I now want you to take it to another level. Don't wait for someone to create your ways. Find ways. And one way, and I'll, I'll share some actual thing. Now, there are different ways of finding ways. One is what comes to your mind. So open yourself up. Listen, ask, talk. Okay. Get, you know, augment yourself. Become so good that nobody can ever ignore you. I promise you, if you're very good, nobody will ignore you. All right? So do that. Secondly, connect with people. Connect. Learn again. Sure. And the third and the most important thing, imagine yourself in ways that you have never imagined yourself. In. So, for example, I am also an actor. I'm also a communicator, also a father, also a traveler, also. So look at what are the various ways in which you can grow. You are an actor, I agree, my friend. Imagine yourself to be a creative soul. So I, in my life, there was an entire period around 99, I didn't get good work at him. So that's when I started working down south, all right? And as I was working down south, you know, I, I did 200 plus films across 11 languages. And then I started 
you know, about seven, eight years back, also started communicating in, uh, you know, as, as a motivational speaker, as, as somebody who, uh, you, you guys must visit my YouTube channel. It's called Ashish Vidyarthi Official. I do a lot of these talks, you know, on and LinkedIn. Also- and Facebook, all right. So we do stuff like that. And while I was doing that, I suddenly started getting some very interesting roles in Hindi. So, you know, this entire period, uh, uh, on 7th June, my next show on, uh, I think one of the things, uh, it's called, uh, uh, what is it called? It's called Sunflower. That's going to release, a f- uh, you know, a few months back, Criminal Justice 2 released. Uh, before that, Mission Over Mar- Mar- Mars re- released. Some Telugu films, some Hindi films, they're all coming. Remember, there are many aspects to you. It is easy to give up. It is very easy to give up. Life isn't easy, my friend. Life happens to people who don't give up and find find out different aspects of you and explore that. And I promise you, you will come home richer than you ever thought before. All right, my friend? Yes, sir. You're also an actor. Remember, you're also an actor. Find out what else can you do. Yes, sir. Thank you. I hope so. You will incorporate these elements into the character. Kishor Kaka. Kishor Kaka. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Kaka is the famous character that he has created in his shows. All right. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank Most you. Welcome. Thank you, Sriji. Now we'll move to Trivandrum in Kerala, where Kamal Verg is. Uh, he is a business development manager in HDFC Bank. He is waiting with a question. Please. Kamal. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Kamal. Namaskar. How are you, sir? So far, so good, my friend. Dealing good, huh? Uh, am I, I kind of switched on to my mobile phone. Not bad, huh? No, no, sir. It's, it's Thank really you so much. Good, Fantastic. My pleasure to have a chat with you, sir. My pleasure too, my friend. Uh, my question is, uh, during this COVID pandemic, the temples and shrines were closed and also the self-proclaimed gods were also not able to do anything. Yeah. Uh, during this time, only doctors, nurses, and health workers were there to heal us. That's the only humanity was left for everyone, uh, not God mm. or any other belief. Uh, so, mm. do you think that even after this pandemic, uh, will there be any change in humanity? So, I don't know who was there or who was not there. I know who was there. I'm not too sure who was not there. All right? Please believe that. So don't jump to conclusions where this was not there, this was not there. Look at who were there and also look at people who were there silently. People who were there behind, you know, creating some stuff. Hats off to those extraordinary COVID warriors. Uh, not just doctors and doctors and nurses. Yes. Just look at the, the frontline workers, the sanitation people, you know, people, the police, the, the people who are there out there on the road, you know. The, the airlines has been on. People have been working ongoingly, making sure that stuff has been reaching. The trucks and everyone, you know, people who have been involved in transportation, that things go on in spite of that. You know, all that you see, the emergency vehicles, there are human beings who are driving it, okay? And they will not be ever be, you know, they will never be uh, felicitated, okay? They, they, they are, you know, not even employees. They are probably casual workers who are getting. Remember at this point also, just to keep the economy going. There have been farmers who are working. Okay. So people, it's unbelievable the number of people who are working. All right. So don't give up. Don't jump to conclusion that only they were there. You know, the moment you say only they were there, a lot of other people will say, really, what about us? What about those people who kept the plants and the generators moving? So first of all, acknowledge people for what they have done. And now let's start looking at what is it that they brought forth. The one thing which I see that they brought forth is that they put others before themselves. That's one part. Second part, they also were people who did not give up. They did not just stay scared. Don't you think they were scared? Do you not think that they were scared? They were scared. But in spite of that, they took precautions and went out. And we have lost a lot of those frontline workers who were out there even before the vaccine was there, my friend. So at this moment, the point for us to get is that even in this, the humanity has won. Some humanity will believe in this. Some humanity will believe in this. Some humanity will not believe. But what has happened is humanity is won. And therefore, the time is not here or ever to differentiate. Oh, they were not there. Only they were there. No, my friend. There was faith, there was belief, 
there was bravery. There were people who were willing to do, and that is how humanity has moved. Humanity is a mix of believers and non-believers. That believer and this believer. Okay, Humanity is not just this and that. It's not like now it is proven. Nothing is proven. Humanity is a bit like, and life is a bit like traffic. Remember when there is traffic? It's coming here and there. You don't know which side it is coming, especially in India. So how you cross the street? You cross the street, just, you know, you look left, right, left, right, left, right, and you just cross the street and you just make it. You do not take the traffic for granted. Similarly, my friend, do not take life for granted. I promise you, we have learned a lot in 2020. Now we learned a lot in 2021. Who knows? 2022 may come up with new surprises. So let us not say that this now is this what you have understood. Doesn't matter, my friend. Okay? So be agile, be ready, and be, be nimble. One of the key things that we have to get in life is to be nimble. Don't be caught up with, this is how it works. I have now learned it. Be ready to learn new things. Life is continuously going to give us challenges. It always has. Have that ability to be nimble and learn and do something which makes a difference. Thank you. You're most welcome. Thank you, Ashista. We have already overshot our time limit, but then I think we have time for just one more question. Uh, this question is from Anusri. She is a pioneer. Pioneer means a senior of the Student Police Cadet, which again is an amazing social change-making program uh, that rose out of the thought leadership of Vijayansa. Uh, Student Police oh. Cadet has been doing amazing work during the natural calamities and during the pandemic. And Anusri, has worked out of the career, so we call them SPC pioneers. She's from Castro. Wow. Anushri, are you online? Yes, I'm here. Anushri, go ahead. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Anushri. I'm Anushri, SPC pioneer carrot from Castro district. So I'm really excited, and it's a great pleasure to be a part of this program. And so my question is, how can we support? and spread positivity when we ourselves are locked up in our own spaces. You know, what you're doing right now, you're carrying on in spite of. See, if you say lockdown, yeah, lockdown. Yeah. So you know what? Before lockdown, if you are in Kasargod, you are in Kasargod. You are not in, uh, you are not in Talasheri, my town. You are not in Koshi. You are not in uh, Los Angeles. You were in Castle Road. That time you could say, oh, what can I do? I'm just in Castle Road. Lockdown is again a mindset game. What if lockdown goes away? Then what will happen? Then you will say, okay, but I am only here. So first of all, get it is people like you who inspire. When people like you, youth like you, amazing people like you are committed to creating something different, I promise you right now, people are looking at you and they are saying, wow, you know, Anushri has... That confidence, she's sharing, she's sharing about, they will probably be right now checking, what is this pioneer group? What is the work that they are doing? So one of the key things to get is that we inspire others by doing what we do amazingly. So some of us may be, be part of this project or that project. Some of us may be studying, some of us may be working. Whatever that we do, remember people are looking at you. So in a world which is doing shortcuts, be amazing at your work, and I promise you, people will be inspired by you. I've been inspired by my father, an extraordinary human being, my, by my mother, an amazing human being. They were so good. They worked so hard at their work, and you will not even know their names. But it suffices that they made me realize the importance of being amazing human beings and being amazing, amazingly committed at what they are doing. So... Understand that people love to be inspired by others and you are an inspiration. So carry on doing what you are doing, carry on impacting others. And remember, wherever you are, you may be locked down in a house or you may be in the deserts of Rajasthan, you will add value. So you will add value whether they lock you down or they leave you anywhere. That's the, that's the power of the human being. So celebrate that the human being can do wonders wherever they are. 
they are not limited so don't think that if no you are not because you are in spite so those walls don't matter lockdown doesn't matter in spite of that you are contributing in spite of the lockdown and whatever is happening in this entire world today we are here with the pause pause talks okay spreading a conversation all right and remember this is what life is what we do with what we have so thank you for your service and uh, vijayan sir of course uh, you are leading such a such an amazing band of extraordinary human beings so that is how you know we ignite each other is we spread the good word and carry it on so thank you for being who you are thank you anishri hope you got the answer now it's time for us to wind up the session we you have led us through the, uh, different ways of being staying positive being true to ourselves and fight back the hard times that we are in uh, thank you ashishta it has been a wonderful journey traveling with you now i invite uh, engineer anandamani he is a senior member of mission better tomorrow to formally wind up the session good evening respected police id sri p vijayan ips honorable speaker mr ashish vidyarthi valuable participants across the globe and my own fellow team members at mission better tomorrow it's indeed a deep pleasure coupled with a sense of privilege that i am here to deliver the vote of thanks today on the topic hope the foundation of life i would like to take off from rightly starting to thank our mentor sri p vijayan ips for his initial remarks by giving great insights and an excellent overview about the topic by narrating by his own personal experience what he has had regarding the topic hope before i move further to my official assignment i also wish to thank my team member mr ranjit for the excellent welcome note the interactive session and the question and answer session was rightly anchored by mr anand haridas in an exemplary manner mr anand the show was also partly yours thank you for that now i move on to the most important assignment of my talk to thank mr ashish mr ashish it has been a very interesting session and i am sure this conversation has been enjoyed by the audience by each and every moment and i am quite sure that each and every participant has been loaded with confidence and positivity some of the most important words and the sentences and the phrases what you have mentioned hope a figmentation of our imagination respond to the demand of the changing times and changing requirements of the life and thirdly one of the beautiful sentences what i liked of your talkers have the ability to dance with what life has given you those were words of wisdom mr ashish the positivity you have created and the energy you have radiated is simply superb your words thoughts and expressions have seemingly assured this entire audience and i'm sure that will that it will bring new happiness new rays of inspiration and above all a new ray of hope to the entire audience who are attending this talk the interesting questions posed to you itself shows that your talk has resonated well with the entire audience mr ashish we at mission better tomorrow is deeply grateful to you and we are deeply delighted by your digital presence and i on behalf of the entire team at mission better tomorrow and on behalf of the entire audience viewing this talk across the globe express our profuse thanks to you for accepting our invitation and addressing us and just as i say goodbye to all i thank each one of the participants for attending this session in large numbers even now and attending this talk patiently and responding well stay safe 
stay indoors.